Morning guys, you might have noticed I'm a little bit sunburnt. That's really weird, that never happens to me. I was like the only one who got sunburnt. I have been staying indoors a bit more lately because I've been making a lot more content, have to do a lot more editing. But I built up like a decent sort of base tan. And you know, Gemma's skin is much fairer than mine and normally she'll go like bright red really quick and I did <laughs> not do, do I? So that's really odd. So I'm a little bit uncomfortable. I didn't sleep that good, but I'm feeling so happy and positive and energized. I'm excited for the day. So we're going to try to eat, I think, at the Oak. Used to be the Acorn. It's really highly rated uh, vegan restaurant, meant to be really amazing. So I'd like to check that out. And um, oh, a minute from there is the Roman Baths, which is why the town is called Bath. Sadly, that's all booked up today. So we should have booked ahead. Didn't really think to do that. But it's a very historic town. The architecture is amazing. Paul's actually an, an architect, so something that hugely interests him. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have a good old explore, see a little bit of history. Won't you come along? By the way, guys, here's the view from our Airbnb. This really doesn't do it justice. Such a big, beautiful, sweeping landscape. Loads of little villages and things. Yeah. This doesn't do it justice. Don't know why I bothered trying, it never works. Okay, so first stop, we're off to the Oak restaurant. You hear those bells in the background? I was just recounting to Paul, I was asking him, do you know uh, where the word dumbbells comes from? And in case you guys didn't know, so hand ringing bells back in the day, but they're so heavy, you need to build up some musculature. So what they would do is take the ringers out, making the, the bell dumb, like it can't make noise. Uh, so that was the first kind of weight training implement and yeah, hence dumbbells. What about that? I'm so excited for this restaurant. Oh, and do you like my hat by the way? Lovely Paul, because I'm so sunburnt, gave me his hat. What a lovely man. Hi Snazzy. Oh, hi. Hi Snazzy mate. Like you? <laughs> you got that going on. Are you excited for the restaurant? Yeah, I would like to have a matcha treat myself. Oh, yeah. a lovely matcha and some lovely Gourmet for that's some mother mother gourmet. Yeah. <laughs> Is this vegan or vegetarian or vegan? Um, vegan only, I believe. Okay, because it says vegan sage fried egg toast. I don't know. Oh, maybe you're going to. Are we all okay, so the oak is only doing breakfast at the minute. So we're going to go to the green rocket first. We're going to have a little bite in there just to tide ourselves over, but we want to have lunch at the Oak because apparently they're fantastic. I was filming the sign. Oh. Okay, so I've got the signature green rocket. That's interesting. It take. <laughs> It's not the most delicious flavour, but it tastes very, very healthy. So that's all good. So it's apple, cucumber, broccoli, celery, parsley, and spirulina. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I like to eat for taste, and look, most of the food I eat is really delicious. This thing, it's not the most delicious, it's quite earthy, but it just tastes of health to me, and I know it'll energise me and give me lots of nutrients. I'll be honest, so I've just ordered this breakfast, it's not the healthiest. Do as I uh, say, not as I do. There might be a couple of sausages on there. When, when I'm um, on a gut muscle gaining uh, routine, but, and when I'm out and about, it's sometimes hard to get enough calories and enough protein. So this is slightly dirty fuel today. So don't copy this at home, kiddies. You know, I've got these twin, I've got these twin mandates of trying to be as healthful as possible, but trying to build a big lean physique. And uh, sometimes that side wins out. But don't do it yourself. So my food's turned up. I've got some vegan sausages, some mushrooms, tomato, tofu scramble, pea shoots, do we think? Mm. Some yes. spinach, uh, some toast. I won't be having the spread. I will be having the sausages though, so you can still tell me off in the comment section if you want. Oh, what's that? Uh, bubble and squeak. Oh. So what is that, like potato and some cabbage or something like that? My mum used to make it years ago. Mm. And I got some beans. I just wanted some like a decent mm. amount of protein. Just because I'm back gaining I'm on the gains train, son. Oh, there's a mushroom on the head. Oh, yeah. Cool. You like a bit of We'll have a go on him. Let's get a bit of all the things. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, me. You can lift it. Mm. It's very herby and 
delicious, lovely. Please don't tell me off too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got this. I think they can sense um, safety. You know that, <laughs> that they're not yeah. wouldn't be under threat. I think uh, safe. So. He can have some. Look at this little beauty. Oh, he had a close up. Um, just a quick aside, guys. You can always tell people who eat usually whole foods plant based. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at our uh, margarine there. <laughs> no marge for us, thanks. And when you say Marge, you should put a Marge Simpson up. We've just spotted a pig statue. So supposedly this is Prince Bladded and he was cast out by his family. He became a swine herder. But supposedly he got in the baths and uh, got healed of all illnesses and then became king and he founded Bath. I don't know how much of that is historically accurate. It's what it says on that plaque. If I'm wrong, sue me. No, don't sue me. That would suck. <laughs> So we're at Parade Gardens in Bath. We've stumbled across a little pet cemetery in the middle of it. So you see this headstone is a little dog and it says sleeping here, oh boy. I can't read the name, true friend and faithful companion. It strikes me hard how People can care about animals so much and they've gone to all this trouble of headstones and loving messages. You know, and at the same time we eat animals. Like. It's just really funny to me. It's a sundial. Can you see what the time is by it? No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it, 11? 12. Is it half 12? I don't think so. I think it's later. Oh no! Uh, half, about half one. Oh. You know that's because oh yeah, it's this side. Okay, so it's one, it's half one, we've got the two lines. Half one, we sussed it out. It's a dead mouse, isn't it? <laughs> dead cat, dead kitten. And I'm vegan as well. Terrible. <laughs> oh man, look at my life. 24, but there's so much fun. Live alone in a paradise that makes me think of two. Love alone is such a cost. Give me things that won't get lost. Like a coin that won't get tossed. Rolling home to you. So I've got potato and mint ravioli. Mm. It's a lovely, uh, lovely bite to it. Delicious flavour. The sauce is kind of creamy. That's really nice. Fresh. Oh god. Yeah, because mm. it's kind of small plates here. I mean, I went for a large plate with my main, but that didn't even touch the side. So I've got a really look, naughty looking dessert. I can't even remember what's in it. It's like polenta and blackcurrant, and there's some kind of pistachio and olive, something or other to go with it. I'm not the best food vlogger, am I? <laughs> 
looks really good though. Oh yeah. every month or two if you're out and about doing something different with friends you just want to enjoy yourself you know I, I talk and I say that I'll always avoid oil and you know but once in the blue moon do you mean it's not going to kill you and um, yeah I'm all right with it and sometimes it's harder when you're out you can't get the same kind of you know stuff that you'd ideally and want to eat particularly for me yeah. it's so hard to get enough calories yeah that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it Anyway, we're walking this down because we're off to the Roman baths now, which is the reason why Bath is called Bath, so we'd have to not see that. Is the sacrificial altar where they would sacrifice animals. If it's not you being murdered, it's not a sacrifice. You're volunteering someone else for it, it's not the same thing. really interested to learn that dignitaries which I expected also soldiers slaves like everyone would come here for healing didn't expect that sad and horrible <laughs> that they had slaves but yeah they could come and for healing as well so pretty cool well that was good we thought that we wouldn't be able to go in the Roman baths at Bath mm. uh, it was booked out but we managed to get in and um, how was that for you, Jim? Uh, I felt very emotional. Yeah. I, as soon as you at one point said the word like slaves, it reminded me like you know of the realness of that. Yeah. And I felt like um, really tearful, and I thought I had a thought that ah, oh, animals are the slaves now. Yeah. I mean they were then, but now it's you know. Yeah. More just animals, and uh, yeah. yeah, I just felt quite uh, emotional really, and it really brought to life history. Yeah. yeah. And I just said this on my Instagram story. Yeah. One time you'd go in somewhere and it smelled like minerals and like yeah. old. It was really interesting. And the next minute you'd go through a bit that was more modern and they're super, everyone's got masks that work there and yeah. they're super sanitizing everything. It smells yeah. like chemicals. Just that contrast, <laughs> yeah. like two different worlds. That was really strange to me. And you had all this computer technology telling you, like screens yeah, showing you yeah. stuff and like audio yeah. juxtaposed with 2,000 year old architecture so that's been there 2000 years that spring has been going at least 2000 years how long before the romans was that going how long after we passed will it makes you think about time and space and um yeah. your own kind of death and <laughs> i wonder like this you know that can make you quite emotional yeah but it's amazing isn't it that spring just keeps going yeah fascinating stuff i'm so glad we got to go and yeah, have a look around yeah lovely time now click this 